Good morning. I'm so sorry about the noise. <laughs> it happens every Wednesday. Okay, that's better. I wanted to start a new reading vlog. Um, basically, I've been in the mood to read things that are very light and easy to read and just fluffy. <laughs> um, so I thought I would start reading the Summer I Turned Pretty series. Now, I know I just said I'll read the whole series, but I'm not going to promise I'll read the whole series. But yeah, let's just... I don't have the other two in the in the series. I just have this first one. So let's just sort of start with this one and um, see how I like it, see how we go. Okay, I like it so far. It's very easy to read. It's Jenny Han, so I, I already read um, To All the Boys I've Loved before. I liked the first book. I didn't like any of the other books in the series, but yeah, I like the writing style. It's just super simple and easy, and um, I like the character so far, I think. I think. I don't know if I like any of the the boys that she's talking about Conrad and what was the other guy's name Jeremiah is that his name I don't know um I'm up to the part where um Jeremiah I think that's his name um and uh Stephen her brother go um to the arcade or something and she's stuck in the beach house with um Conrad and Conrad's like, oh, do you want to go to the boardwalk? Um, and uh, so they go and she's assuming that it's a little bit of a date because she's had a crush on Conrad for ages. This is like when she's 12. And, um, uh, and then it turns out that he just wanted to see some other girl. And that was really, that was, I... I felt for Belly for some reason. Um, here's the thing that I need to, um, I need to keep in check, I guess, while I'm reading this book. I've been having a little bit of a, an issue, not an issue, just I've been struggling to read um, young adult books um, lately just uh, because I don't know if it's just because I'm like older now. <laughs> um, and I just, you know, I'm no longer a young adult. I'm a full-fledged adult now. I'm 30 this year. So I can't quite relate to the over-dramatized, you know, young adult lives in these fictional worlds. Um, but... I know that a lot of people don't like, I've heard that a lot of people don't like um, the main character, Belly, and I can kind of see, I mean I've, I've only read like two chapters, but I can kind of see how she can be quite annoying, but I think what I need to realize and what I have realized um, is that she is really young and she does have a lot of insecurities and those insecurities kind of translate to these like silly thoughts and silly actions that's what i'm gonna like that's the mindset i'm going into reading these books because i do want to enjoy them and i feel like as as we get older we forget how fragile and insecure and like sensitive like teenagers are and and how sensitive we were as teenagers so I need to sort of like you know keep that in mind as I'm reading this I guess yeah because because the the reason why I the reason why I am wanting to be a little bit more aware when I'm reading this book is because the reason why I 
didn't really like the second and third book in the To All The Boys I've Loved Before series is because I felt like Lara Jean sounded too naive and too young um, even though she was supposed to be 16 but I think I've since had a sort of discussion with myself when looking back on those books and I think I've come to the conclusion that like there are some 16 year olds that act like Lara Jean just because my experience as a 16 year old wasn't like that um, and I was a lot more exposed to the, I, I wasn't like crazy or anything like that but I wasn't as naive as Lara Jean but I know people that were that naive and that innocent when they were 16 and I need and I think I sort of blamed it on Lara Jean and on the author for not writing a realistic 16 year old when it could it could be a realistic 16 year old to someone So they go to this summer home um, because both of their mums are best friends. Um, Belly mentions that um, like her dad um, and and Stephen and her um, are like trying to convince their mum of like getting cable when they're back at home. And then she mentions her dad again and wanting to like um, make cookies or something and sitting on the floor or something like where is the dad like are they I'm assuming they're still to get like the parents are still together because I it sounds like they live together but it, does he just not come to this summer home I don't know morning um i thought i'd do a little bit of an update because i haven't actually picked up the camera um for a while i have been reading i just haven't been reading as much as i uh planned to because um i had a really bad uh brain day uh last saturday um, and I I should have known I was gonna have a really bad brain day on Saturday because I feel like it was it was coming it was like trickling in um, from like the Wednesday of last week um, but I sort of just ignored it or not really ignored it but like instead of trying to soothe myself or trying to practice some extra self-care things that I would usually do um, to help myself feel better I sort of just pushed it aside and sort of forced myself to be in a good mood and then of course it didn't work and then I was also in a bad mood on Thursday and then Friday and then Saturday I was just not the best person to <laughs> be around to be honest um i was really down my glasses are just so dirty i'm not gonna wear them right now i was just really down i didn't want to do anything i didn't want to get out of bed i did eventually get out of bed but i just was not having a great time yeah i was just not the best person to be around um last saturday i just didn't see the point in anything not to get super bleak but um, yeah so I haven't done as much reading as I would have liked but um, I have done some reading I found out that her actual name is Isabella 
<laughs> but everyone calls her Belly, which is really cute. Um, I still really like it so far. I thought I wasn't going to... Here's the thing, right? I know that this is a, um, a romance, so we have to talk about the boys in this book. Now, from the very beginning, she's had this major crush on um, Conrad. And from what she's told me about Conrad, I'm like, this guy sounds really boring. <laughs> I'm like, why do you have a crush on him? Just because he, just because you don't know much about him. Um, I think we've all been there. But um, um, what's it called? Then, then she started getting closer as friends to Jeremiah. And I like him a little bit more than Conrad, just because I feel like he has more of a personality than Conrad. But like, uh, the other thing is like, I can't picture what these boys look like. I don't know if she's described it or not, but I just can't like, I can't picture it in my head. I know that one of them has really light hair and the other one has really dark hair, I think. That's all I know. Um... I also really like, I like that, um, that she has a somewhat normal relationship with her parents, like she doesn't, she's not like super best friends with her mum or anything like that, that's the thing that I sometimes don't like in YA books, I don't, I think I don't like it because I don't relate to it, but but I didn't relate to it when I was younger anyway. So I'm glad that she has like a somewhat normal relationship with her mum. I don't know if I like her mum that much, to be honest. Like she seems really, she just seems very cold. Like she has, like she's very distant from them for some reason. Um, I like the brother. I like the dynamic between them, like they annoy each other but they don't actively hate each other, um, they, they just hate each other in like a sibling way, which I, which I really like, because um, sometimes, sometimes when you see that in, in young adult books it can go a little bit overboard, so I, I like that she... Jenny Han wrote it really well. Um, I hope that there will be more relationship dynamic between the siblings because I, I really like sibling dynamics in books. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's all. That's all I. Uh, that's the only update I have for you right now. The other um, update I have is I found a brand new. Well, it's not brand new. It's brand new to me. A brand new podcast. Um, it's called To Be Honest, and I highly recommend it to everyone. Um, it's these two Australian girls um, that live in the Gold Coast. I actually found them through. Um, Bonnie Rebecca so I watch Bonnie um, from her channel with her best friend Emily um, and they do their channel on YouTube is called chats and reacts and they do like um, they do breakdowns of Taylor Swift songs you all know I love Taylor Swift so um, I watch them and then they have these other two best friends um, and turns out that they have a podcast their own and um they just sort of talk about just whatever topic comes to their mind but I really I really like it because I kind of want to make my the media that I consume I'm not talking about like news or anything because I already do that but like the the like the entertainment media like YouTube or Instagram or um, or podcasts um, I mean I don't really use Instagram that much but like YouTube and podcasts I want to watch more Australian people just because I not that there's anything wrong with like anyone else like around the world but I kind of miss 
sometimes I forget that like I don't relate to some of these like American things that people talk about like when they talk about their past high school experience or just like the shops they go to or things like that like I would like to relate to to the people I watch and the people I listen to on podcasts a little bit more I don't know why I just want to so I'm glad that I found them and I'm glad that they're Australian because um I relate it's fun so yeah highly recommend them they're really good just got up to the part where um she goes to this bon fire party and I again like I mentioned in the beginning like I can I can I can see how Belly can get really petty and really annoying but you have to remember like she's 14 years old in this chapter and like she wants to feel like an older teenager like her brother like Jeremiah like Conrad she wants to like I don't blame her for that you know like I, I know that she you know she could have gone about it um a different way but I don't blame her, blame her for feeling frustrated by the way everyone treats her like a child. That's very valid for her. Um, so I do feel kind of bad for her, even though, you know, I probably wouldn't have picked that fight with Conrad. It was really stupid, but like, I get it. <laughs> Wait, did I say that she was 14 in this? She's not, this isn't when she was 14 years old. This is, um is now so i think is she 16 she's almost 16 she's like 15 almost 16. i can't believe that taylor was with stephen all this time i honestly did think that um <clears throat> that taylor and jeremiah was like getting together or something um but i guess not I don't know. I'm confused. The other thing that I do find annoying with Belly is she's so... Because she gets really embarrassed really easily. Um, she's really defensive and she's really like snappy when she's defensive. Which is like, I think why people make fun of her is because she is so quick with her defensiveness. Um... Yeah, I'm going to pause my reading for a little bit. I do want to finish this um, by the weekend because um, I'm going away this weekend and I like I don't want to be in the middle of being away and not have a book. So I either want to like finish this book up and pick up a new book or I want to slow myself down reading this book so I can like finish it this weekend like on my trip i'm gonna pause though i'm gonna go to the gym i don't know why i know that i recently just said that um last week well last weekend i had a pretty bad brain day but this today um i just i'm feeling really stressed and anxious from last night I don't know why I had a really good time I was trying to chill myself out and I watched a movie um, I don't usually I haven't watched like I don't usually we, we watch TV shows all the time but I don't usually like watch a movie because movies are really long but um, I watched Enchanted for the first time um, and I really really like it I don't know why I, I remember it came out on Disney and it was being promoted and stuff and I remember seeing the trailer and I was like um I don't know if I want to watch that that sounds really stupid I watched it last night and I really really like it but then after that I got really like when I'm really stressed and anxious I get like I feel like I'm gonna throw up and like my stomach hurts and stuff and um this morning um I still feel that so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the gym. I mean, I was gonna go to the gym anyway, but I'm gonna work a little bit harder at the gym, I think, because I know that that usually 
helps. I was trying to, so for, um, I've been going to the gym since I was at uni. Sorry about the ramble, but I just feel like I need to talk. Um, I've been going to the gym since I was at like uni and I was really obsessive about it. Um, because when I was in high school, um, I had, you know, body image issues and I was sort of, um, I had like disordered eating kind of, like even though I wasn't like diagnosed or anything, I was sort of doing that. And then I started going to the gym and I feel like that helped with my anxiety and it helped with my relationship with my food and my body and so i've been going to the gym ever since but because like i said i got very obsessive about the gym i've been trying for the past um especially during lockdown because i because the gyms weren't um open and stuff i was freaking out <laughs> and all that um, which is why I, I go for a lot of walks and I go for a lot of like hikes and stuff now, but, um, anyway, I, I've been trying to get rid of that like obsessive mindset of like, oh, I have to go to the gym because if I, if I don't, because in my brain, if I don't go to the gym and I eat something, like I'm just gonna gain all the weight back or something and um, that's just how my brain works and so I've been trying really really hard to for the past like couple of years to like train my brain to not be so obsessive and not rely so much on the gym um so I I stop myself from going to the gym too often during the week I was going like five days a week and I was like, no, I'm not really do. I don't feel like I was doing it for the right reasons. I don't want to be this reliant and this obsessive over the gym because like, you know, I, I go away on trips, camping and stuff all the time. And when you're camping, like you're not near a gym. So I can't like do that, even though we go bushwalking and stuff all the time. But Anyway, I just, I, I wanted to like stop my brain from thinking that way. So I've been trying to not go to the gym as much, but I think I, I know that the gym helps with my anxiety. So I, I do want to start going a little bit more, maybe one extra day more than I usually do. Um, but again, see, like, I don't want to think about it that way. I don't want to think like, oh, I'll just go one more day or, or something. I don't want to have this, like, obsessiveness in my brain about, like, habits and things. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I just don't want to feel like my brain is controlling me. I want to feel like I'm controlling my brain. Does that make sense? I don't think it's fair for Belly to be called um, Taylor a slut after she saw um she saw her with uh, Stephen. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. I basically uh, before I went to the gym. Um, I, I'm back now, but before I went to the gym, I read that bit and then I just stopped reading like I didn't continue on I should have because it escalated <laughs> I do find it really strange that um Susanna's like has always slightly pushed Conrad and Belly together I don't know which came first like I don't know if Belly had a crush on Conrad first and then Susanna was like encouraging it or Susanna encouraging it made Belly think oh yes I like Conrad you know it's interesting so now apparently Belly is upset that Cam asked to kiss her which I don't understand I 
think it's sweet when someone wants to ask for your permission <laughs> I don't know how I feel about Jeremiah liking Belly because I do feel like they would be way more suited as best friends um, like Belly always says um, and Conrad is I don't know he's just like he's like that typical like guy that you would be into when you were 16 because he's a bit moody and he plays guitar and um, he doesn't talk much so you like having someone like that I guess when you're a teenager you can sort of like put your own perception and idea of him onto him because he doesn't give off any sort of idea you know what I do find interesting is the mothers so I've said it uh, before but I really like that um, that Belly and her mum have a pretty normal mother-daughter relationship but like it's not overly like fighting all the time but it's also not uh, overly like best friendy kind of like Lorelai and Rory um, but I also think it's interesting that she's Belly's really Belly really looks up to Susanna and not only does she look up to Susanna, but she also talks about um, the financial differences between their two family. And I just thought that that was like a really interesting thing that's happening in the background. Like, like it's, it's like there are moments where it almost seems like Belly wishes that Susanna was her mum because her own mum is very closed off and very like rational and doesn't like extravagant gifts but I, I think she doesn't like extravagant gifts because she it must be weird because like Susanna would like want to buy Belly all these dresses and stuff like that and, and her mum is like no I don't like that's too much I don't want to take it but it, it, yeah it must be weird because they are staying at Susanna's beach house and they've been doing that all their life so I can see how that can get kind of awkward I don't know it's weird speaking of Conrad I do want to say this so I'm up to chapter 39 and if this book turns out at the end that Conrad has been in love with Belly all along or some stupid thing like that I'm gonna be so annoyed because Conrad has shown no interest in Belly the whole time I've been reading this book there's like little bits of like protectiveness and little bits of like somewhat interest here and there but not enough for it to be okay <laughs> for me to like root for him you know I don't know I don't know I don't know it's just it's gonna annoy me it's gonna annoy me a lot if Conrad is like oh I actually like you and then Billy's like oh yeah I like you too I've liked you this whole time or something like that not that I want Belly to end up with Jeremiah because I also think that that's weird but I just don't want her to end up with anyone I don't like any of these guys I also wish <laughs> this is something that I wish Belly would stop doing I know she's defensive and insecure and whatever but I I wish she wouldn't go back on her word so much like not really maybe not going back on her word um, maybe, that, maybe that's not the right term but like I there's this part um, that I'm reading and uh, Conrad invites the Red Sox girl over to the beach house and Belly and Cam are there watching a movie and they're trying to decide between one movie I can't remember what it's called or Titanic and Conrad teases her being like oh Belly loves Titanic and 
she snaps and she's just like oh i only want to watch it because i want to make fun of it it's like why do you have to do that like why can't you just stick to your convictions and just be like yeah i i, I do like titanic who cares i also think i feel really really bad for cam um just because I feel like he knows exactly what's going on between Belly and Conrad. And it's a bit sad. Okay, I was right. Cam definitely picked it up. Um, and he just asked Belly if she only invited him to make Conrad jealous or something. Which is very obvious, so... We'll see what happens. So I just got up to the part where Jeremiah confronts Belly about his feelings for her um, after they've been watching a movie. And I honestly think that these two boys only like her once they realize that she is not just the little kid that they see every summer like I think they only started liking her when they realized like oh Belly's not gonna be ours to hang around with forever um which is not a legit reason <laughs> um but I I still feel sad for Jeremiah because Especially when he was like, oh, why is it always Conrad? Because that's how I feel as well, honestly. Like, why do you always talk about Conrad? I don't see the appeal. I really, I really don't. Like, all the, like, things that she remembers Conrad doing. Like, all the, like, oh, he stood up for me and he danced with me and blah, blah, blah. Like, very, very bare minimum. <laughs> like, a very bare minimum to be honest with you. Okay, so I was right. Um, it is about Susanna's cancer. I do have to give it to Belly though for confronting Conrad, which is I guess what started all of this fight and like that's how the Susanna's illness thing came out. But yeah, I, um, I thought that it was about time that she told Conrad. I also think she made a great point, like if Jeremiah knew that she liked Conrad. If Belly's mum knew, Stephen knew, um, and Susanna knew, surely Conrad would have known. And if Conrad didn't like her back or didn't want her to like him, he should have said something. I think it's really sweet that um, her mum was actually the one to buy her that purple dress that she's obsessing over mm, I made my tea way too hot um actually I have a question do you make your tea if you are making a tea that doesn't need to have milk added onto it which is a lot of like herbal tea so like peppermint tea or like green tea or whatever. Those are the teas that I really like. I don't really like having teas that need to um, have milk with it. Um, do you add cold water to it? Because I do and Andrew also does but all of our friends don't add cold water to the tea so you end up like making the tea and then having to wait like half an hour for it to cool down so I always add like um, a little bit of t uh, cold water to my teas but I didn't add enough um, I finished reading The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han also I really like this cover I actually got it well Andrew bought it for me on his way home from work one day um, and I think he got it from Big W but yeah, I really like this cover. I know that this is the TV show tie-in. I didn't realize it was a TV show tie-in um, because they did a really good job. I really like, I usually don't like movie tie-ins or TV show tie-ins, but I really like this because you can't really see the characters um, as in, like, in full detail. Um, and it's a lot of um, just like a, like a, like a scenery 
which I really like. The only thing I don't like about it is I can't actually see the title. Um, that's, I think, is written here because it's like white font on like a really light brownish, beige-ish background and that's not, <laughs> that's not good for my eyesight so I, I can't see the title but apparently it's there. I also don't like this because it's like light pink and then white. I also can't see the font on the spine um, and I can't see the blurb on the back so I don't know who, you know, even though I do like the cover, I don't know who came up with the idea of having <laughs> white on like a really light background. Anyway, um, I finished reading the book, so they go swimming at the very end, their last night there, and then we flash forward, I think, to like winter time, and Belly gets in the car with Conrad. And one thing I will say about the ending, I really like that the ending feels like there is a continuation. Um, overall, I was looking for a really light-hearted, easy reading type of coming of age slash romance type book and that's exactly what this was. There's not that much romance in this. There is, but it's not the type of romance, like if you are looking for a, like a cutesy, tropey rom-com, this isn't, that's not, the, 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 it's not the type of book. I was looking for something cute and coming of agey, I knew that this was coming of agey, I knew that this was YA, um, and so I'm glad that I had the right mindset going into this. Let me know what your thoughts on like, if you had to compare to all the boys or this book, which one you would choose and why, um, down below. And yeah, I hope you, um, have a great week, weekend, whenever I post this. I hope you have a great day, rest of your day, and I will see you in another video soon.